father lunges at Larry Nasser in court before being restrained. The father of three daughters who were abused by Larry Nasser tried to attack the former doctor in Aneaton County, Michigan, court Friday before he was tackled and arrested by security. Randall Margraves said he was a distraught father and cursed at Nasser, but Judge Janice Cunningham told him that was not allowed in court. He then asked the judge for personal time alone with a demon. I would ask you, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this demon, he asked. Would you give me one minute? The judge declined, saying, that's not how our legal system works. Well, I'm going to have to, Margraves responded, and he launched into a sprint toward Nasser. Security rushed to stop him and grabbed him from behind before he was able to reach Nasser. I want that son of a bee. The man yelled as he was being detained. Give me one minute with that bastard. He added, what if this happened to you guys? The incident sparked harsh words from Michigan Assistant Attorney General Angela Poviolatis in court. You cannot behave like that, she said. No one can behave like this. I want to make sure it's crystal clear. As he was ushered out of the room, Margraves responded, you haven't lived through it, lady. Margraves is the father of Lauren and Madison Margraves, two young women who had spoken emotionally about how Nasser abused them just before their father addressed the court. A statement from Morgan Margraves, his third daughter, was read at Nassar's sentencing in neighboring Ingham County last month. Nasser, the former doctor for USA Gymnastics and Michigan State University, has pleaded guilty to 10 criminal sexual conduct charges across two Michigan counties. In court. He admitted to abusing his trusted position to sexually abuse girls under the guise of medical treatment. Nasser is currently in Eden County Circuit Court as dozens of women have come forward to explain how his abuse changed their lives. The violent outburst came after more than two weeks of raw powerful statements from young women who were sexually abused by Nasser over the past two decades. More than 150 women spoke out about Nasser in an Ingham County courtroom during the past two weeks, and dozens more have spoken out about Nasser's abuse here in Eaton County Court this week. After a short break, Nasser was brought back into the room and court proceedings resumed. I know it is hard, but I need to ask all of you to try and not react in any physical way, Judge Cunningham said. It is not appropriate. It does not show the right message. It actually just causes more pain and more discomfort, and certainly we have enough of that already in this courtroom as a result of the defendant's actions.